Welcome to a healthy living video blog at WorkCopMaster.com. This is Ruben. And you know Aaron. And we have an uh, exceptionally important episode. Today we're going to talk about inflammation. Uh, before we go and talk about inflammation, next episode is going to be about sports specific training. The Super Bowl coming up. There's a lot of big games and people like to play sports, so we're going to tear this one apart. Right now, let's talk about inflammation. Inflammation, the cause of the demise of the human body. And where does it stem from, inflammation? And what sorts of... Well, I personally always believe that your body needs to be in balance. So anytime that you have an imbalance, mm -hmm. you create it generally yourself. Uh, then secondary you're going to have an inflammation. Right. And inflammation is basically the way of uh, your body telling you that you're under attack by bacteria, viruses and those kind of things. And all forms of the stressor because inflammation can be caused to your body by any part of your human being in, in its totality. It could be a physical stressor, it could be emotional, it could be mental, and it can definitely be spiritual. Absolutely. Let, let's uh, concentrate on a very important part that our listeners should know. Mm -hmm. Now, what, one of the major uh, inflammation places, where does it take place? It usually takes place in the, in the gut, especially in the lower abdomen area. When there is an excess growth of bacteria, it will attack the body because it's going to create a myriad of, of, of effects per se. The first one is going to you know, disrupt you know, hormonal balances, it's going to disrupt you know, the process of elimination, so your know, excretory system is going to find itself under a lot of difficulty to do its process by means of you know, getting the liver backed up and the liver not functioning because there is not enough sufficient you know, thyroid hormone going through the body. So on and on, it can get super complicated and we're only scratching the very, very surface, but the purpose is to make you aware that inflammation is the main cause of aging, of premature aging, and you know, a lot of the degenerative you know, uh, chronic diseases, especially neurological diseases such as Alzheimer's, MS, etc. Absolutely. Uh, the second biggest for, in my opinion, is a source of inflammation is actually your mouth. So you got to be very careful with the teeth. Actually, we probably should record another episode just about inflammation in the teeth. Uh, so you have basically a hole here, a hole there, and bag microbes and bacteria get through you. So if you have a perfectly functioning body, you can actually uh, keep them away, or at least at bay. Mm -hmm. If you don't, they start taking hold of you. So you don't get killed by disease truly. You get slowly killed by invaders of bacteria. Those little creatures that are all over us all the time. It's not that we should be scared of them, but we have to maintain our body in excellent shape. Unless you happen to catch a bug that you know acts so fast and so dramatically in the body that your body can go into shock and wipe you out. True. Because without saying. But for the most for the most part, you know, most people, you know, unfortunately, you know, to our, to our greatness, we do not die of, of a fast... A lot of times it goes both ways though. Some people can be in a very, very good shape. So even if some bug that wipes out a big part of the population doesn't oh. wipe out the all. Right. So you never know, maybe it was, they may be a resistant, maybe they're genetically resistant to that particular thing, right. or maybe they're just in a great health, so it doesn't affect them that any much. Any possibility of those could be a, a tribute to any given reason why, why not it does affect you. Absolutely. Uh, so inflammation is extremely uh, important to understand that right. that's where a lot of things start. If you have certain inflammation, we highly recommend you to start thinking of what you can do to start slowing down the inflammation. So what do you think uh, our listeners can do to affect the inflammation? Right. From, let's look at it from the perspective perhaps just of the physical response. Mm -hmm. Well, you have to have your hormones in perfect and balanced order. That means it's going to change from person to person depending on where you are and where you need to be. And uh, I don't think up to date, you know, the medical model is doing a fantastic job to balance out people because we see that those that have hormonal imbalances and they're under treatment, they're not doing all that good. So let's keep that present. And this is not to, uh, to bash play. anybody. Right, to bash anybody or anything. It's just not working properly. Perhaps because they're using a very chemical approach. I, well, it's just, a, sure. it's just the way the system is set up. So if the system's set up that way, it's not necessarily a problem with doctors, it's just the whole system. If you get taught a certain way, this is the way you think. Good. Then we do too many things that actually contribute to that inflammation. We eat a, a boatload of polyunsaturated fatty acids, which we should avoid for the most part, although, you know, the FDA and other controlling agencies, when it has to do anything with nutrition, they tell us that these are the health 
and the healthy fats and the healthy oils that we should be consuming, which in my opinion is far from the truth. Okay. You can uh, also listen to all of our episodes, pretty much all of them, to figure out what you should avoid. <clears throat> there's the grains, there's the stuff in your water, uh, poor quality food. I mean, the food is just, if you go to shop in the supermarket, the regular supermarket, you're just pretty much begging for some inflammation in your gut. Very well said. Oftentimes we overconsume, you know, meat and meat derived products that are actually loaded with certain amino acids that give or have a propensity to create inflammation in the body, such okay. as tryptophan, leucine, isoleucine. There's a couple different ones, and I'm not quite sure if I'm quoting them in the right proportion, but somewhere along the lines of that. Well, you can say a lot of information about uh, where is it taken. Oh, from Ray Pete, of course. You know, that's the person that I've. You so know, you can go to RayPete.com. Yeah. And read a lot of his articles and stuff, and they will give you very good information. And make sure you know, like I posted yesterday on Facebook, you know, for a mind to work is the same thing as a parachute. It only works when it's open. So when you go read a lot of the Ray Pete articles, he's a very complex. He's a full-blown scientist. I mean, this guy is a genius. So sometimes reading his articles, it starts up as being a, like an issue, like a very easy, you know, approach. And all of a sudden, he takes you know a, a turn into something complicated, and you find yourself like uh, I used to read for the past one minute, and I didn't get one word of what he was talking about. Obviously, he's a full-blown scientist and a very good one at that. So sometimes you have to go with a very open mind and a whole lot of dictionaries and a computer near you, so you can go item by item and try to make sense of what he's saying, because it's not easy to understand. Absolutely clear. So let's wrap this up. So when you have an inflammation. Mm -hmm. uh, important signs of inflammation, if you di don't digest food properly, if you have any kind of digestive symptoms, if you have a bleeding gums, your tooth are in the, teeth are not in a good shape, those are major factors. Right. Uh, if you're under chronic pain, if you're under chronic stress, if you eat standard American diet, you are chances on the high chance of being under inflammation, basically means you are under attack. Uh, now, it is your job to start putting up a certain defense. And putting up defense, that means eat the best food on earth, sleep so your body can recover, help your body to fight off all the invaders because your body actually designed by whoever designed our body to fight them off. So if you just help instead of standing on the way, chances are your body going to do its job. Uh, and last one, you got to drink some water. Well, yeah, it's, it's a very powerful dilutant and uh, is required for every cellular function in the body. So mm -hmm. without water, you will not, you know, exist. But one of the most common ones that we do, we over-exercise or we under-exercise. And that leads, you know, that leads to a lot of inflammation in the body that can be easily remedied if you just take a step back and you give yourself a decent approach or a decent assessment to evaluate how much trashing you do into your body. Absolutely. That's often the case. Some people don't move enough. Well, for those, we recommend that you get your butt in gear and you start doing something. But there's other people that literally love beating themselves, and those will have a definitely uh, negative effect on the body. Yes. And another thing, if you think you cut down on inflammation by taking antibiotics, I extremely doubt it. Inflammation will come back and it will get you. Antibiotics are there for just a short term. Bacteria is there for a long term, and it's not in a rush. So be careful, guys. Uh, anything else? I think we'll just sum it up with that. With those All are right. the facts. Read up, on, read up on, on Ray Pete. He's a brilliant scientist. And uh, please post any comments, concerns, questions that you might have. Don't forget to follow us back on Facebook and Twitter. And uh, if you want any specific topic to be uh, open up to discussion, just let us know. Email us, you know, info at workoutmaster.com. You can email Aaron, a workout master, or myself, Ruben, a workout master .com, and we will be more than happy to, uh, to do that for you. Absolutely. Remember, your future looks better already, and if you send this to your friends, their future will look better too. Thank you for watching. Until next time.